Do I have to set a place for Eli? Because I heard you forgot to invite him. Why do people forget to invite people to dinner parties? Is that a trick question? I need to break up with him. Oh, 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 please don't do that at my party. The last time I tried to break up with a man, he thought that I was asking him to wait for me. And he did, apparently. And he bought lattes for a man named Pierre. Is that slang for something I don't know about? You see, I try to preserve people's dignity, which is the problem. I'm poetic, and I would think that that would provide clarity, but in fact, it simply clouds the message. All right, here's what I would do. Use short, declarative sentences. I'm ending this. All the best to you. Got it? Oh, and do it before my party. No, no, not before. Tomorrow. Before is rude. Before is depriving a man of a dinner that he's now excited about because your husband couldn't shut up about the sauce. So I have to serve dinner to a dead man walking. Buck up. You can handle it. Oh. Four pounds. Four pounds. Two pounds wasn't bad enough. We're talking two to three hundred boxes of sinus pills. There ain't that many Smurfs in the world. We're not gonna need pseudoephedrine. We're gonna make phenoacetone in a tube furnace, so we're gonna use reductive animation to yield a methamphetamine. Four pounds. So no pseudo. No pseudo. So you do have a plan. Yeah, Mr. White! Yes, science! Okay. What's this? It's a shopping list. Um, getting some of those items might be challenging. One auto transformer, six liters in hydra, hydromethamine, two 35 M&M &M tube furnaces. It's, it's MM, millimeter. Uh, a 70 millimeter would be nice, but they're hard to come by, so. 40 grams thorium nitrate. Yo, Mr. White, I can't even pronounce half this shit. No, you know what? Count me out, all right? I'm I'm moving to like Oregon or something. This this is just, just so. Just 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 wait wait wait. This is the first day of the rest of your life. What are you doing? This is the first day of the rest of your life. But what kind of life is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a life of a fear of of no 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 I can't do this of of never once believing in yourself? I don't know. Listen, these things. We need them. And only you can get them for us. Is that you, sexy? Look in the closet, I brought you a little something to slip into. You like it? All the times I came to catch you, I didn't think there was really anything to catch. Seven years, Jason. I gave you everything. And now you've got some hoe bag wearing my uniform, got her strawberries, flowers, candles. And a cake that says, I love you, Kelly. Oh my God, her name is Kelly too? Oh Come on, baby. Baby, we do this dance every year. You hop out of a closet or even a hamper or even a trash can I don't know and you surprised me and this time I wanted to surprise you you're always busy with the sunbeam so I thought you deserved a romantic evening really put this on and I will show you whoa
Four pounds. Four pounds. Two pounds wasn't bad enough. We're talking two to three hundred boxes of sinus pills. There ain't that many Smurfs in the world. We're not gonna need pseudoephedrine. We're gonna make phenoacetone in a tube furnace, so we're gonna use reductive animation to yield a methamphetamine. Four pounds. So no pseudo. No pseudo. So you do have a plan. Yeah, Mr. White! Yes, science! Okay. What's this? It's a shopping list. Um, getting some of those items might be challenging. One auto transformer, six liters in hydra, hydra meth, methamine, two 35 MM tube furnaces. It's, it's MM, millimeter. Uh, a 70 millimeter would be nice, but they're hard to come by, so. 40 grams thorium nitrate. Yo, Mr. What? I can't even pronounce half this shit. No, you know what? Count me out, all right? I'm I'm moving to like Oregon or something. This this is just, just so. Just 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 wait wait wait. This is the first day of the rest of your life. What are you doing? This is the first day of the rest of your life. But what kind of life is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a life of of fear of of no 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 I can't do this of of never once believing in yourself? I don't know. Listen, these things we need them. And only you can get them for us. <sighs> Is that you, sexy? Look in the closet, I brought you a little something to slip into. You like it? All the times I came to catch you, I didn't think there was really anything to catch. Seven years, Jason. I gave you everything. And now you've got some hoe bag wearing my uniform, got her strawberries, flowers, candles. And a cake that says, I love you, Kelly. Oh my God, her name is Kelly too? Oh Come on, baby. Baby, we do this dance every year. You hop out of a closet or even a hamper or even a trash can I don't know and you surprise me and this time I wanted to surprise you you're always busy with the sunbeams so I thought you deserved a romantic evening really put this on and I will show you oh Can you please just listen to me? Don't I deserve that much? <sighs> Sorry. That seems to be the operative word today. Okay. Um, so you know how my grandma switched the results for her own reason? She hates Victor more than anyone knew, and she wishes she didn't know Bo was his son. Stephanie, I don't care about any of this. Focus. No, 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 but it is important, because you see, when I found out about Philip and Chloe, that's when I found out my grandma had done. Remember how upset I was when I was trying to tell you what was going on? I remember you being tense, yeah. Right, but I couldn't really see anything because my grandma could have gone to jail. I mean, she could still get prosecuted. And she should. What's your point? My point is that I try to get her to come forward and admit to what she's done, even though I knew there'd be consequences. Actually, I was about to force her to do it. And why didn't you? Because there were so many bad things piling on her at once. Sammy losing her kids, Johnny's eye surgery, Bone Hope being hunted. Nathan, I just couldn't do it. When I thought about all the bad things she was going through, I couldn't just drag the truth out into the open. Do you understand what I'm saying? Sure, I understand. But too bad none of it's true. <laughs> What do you mean none of it's true? You can ask my grandma, she'll say the same exact thing. Of course she'll say the exact same thing. She's lying to protect you, just like you're lying to protect yourself. Nathan! No, I get it. Caroline tells you that she's going to make the switch. Of course you're going to be scared. She committed a crime. Well then, you, you do understand what I'm saying. It wasn't news to you, Stephanie. It wasn't even close to news to you. You even tried to make your, the switch yourself. No. No? No, that's not true. That's not true? No! Do you want to live or die by that line?
I take it you would like to see me? Knock it off, Nina. What is your problem, Steve? I want you to butt out of my life, that's what I want. Because I don't want or need your help. You went to Tom Cudahy about Brooke and me. I did not go to Tom about anything. <laughs> You're lying, Nina. Tom told me you did. But then he misunderstood. I was merely mentioning Brooke, and I happened to mention that the four of us had dinner together. But that's all. You wanted to tell Tom to tell Brooke not to be with me. I'm not going to sit by and stand for it, Nina. I want you to stop trying to manipulate with my personal life. I don't care about your personal life. Yes, you do. You care plenty about it. But your little scheming, it's not going to work. I talked to Tom about being with Brooke. He could care less about it. Well then, good. That makes two of us. Now, if that's all you have to talk to me about, then you should... No. No, you don't. I want to clear the air with you, little girl, once and for all. Because I've had up to here with your selfishness and your jealousy. I am not jealous. You are jealous and you are selfish. You hate the idea of me being with Brooke. And you hated the idea of me being with Kim. Believe me, I didn't even give Kim a second thought. Then why are you so rude to her? You were so rude to her! Look, I don't want to talk about this. We are going to talk about it. Because what you really want is your cake and eat it too. You won't sleep with me. But you don't want anyone else to. You know what? You are unbelievable. You don't understand the first thing about me. Just get one thing straight, Nina. There are no strings on me. I intend to find a woman who will fill all my needs. All my needs. Well, I wish you luck. I thought you were going to be that woman. But I was wrong. You know, Bex, in managing people, I've learned you get a lot more out of them when you at least pretend to respect them. Oh, really? Is that why your icky house is filled with a bunch of slutty losers and is totally employed? Is that your management skills? Wow. The old me never said anything that bitchy. Yes, you did. To Laura's sophomore year. Why do you think she bites her nails? <sighs> hey, so this is exciting, isn't it? Or is EBZ presidents coming together to make this the number one chapter in the nation? Oh yeah, you're going down, Guam. <laughs> okay, we have a small problem. Bieber canceled. What? He's flying to New York to do The View. Oh my god. <sighs> well, how do you say no to Whoopi? I knew this was too good to be true. Okay, relax. It's not the Golden Globes. Oh no, yeah, it's just the Golden Lily. It's bigger for us. That is so sad. What's sad is you coming here and messing with us all over again. What's a sociopath? Always a sociopath. Rebecca, just... Okay, the only reason you're president of this stupid house is because I courted you, poodle. <gasps> I'm back. In Glen Oak? Yeah, I passed on my college scholarship. Why? Well, I wasn't ready for college, and I wanted to spend my last year of high school in high school. I thought you wanted to be closer to Sandy and the baby. Didn't anyone tell you? Tell me what? I thought someone would have told you. Um, it turns out it's not my baby. What are you talking about? Well, Sandy had a paternity, paternity test, and it turns out it's not my baby. Whose baby is it then? Uh, I don't know if I should tell you. I don't know if I care. Well, it's Simon's. Don't care. Well, if you're still interested. Of course I'm still interested. I've always been interested. I've always loved you. Ruthie, you okay, Ruthie? Not now. Hey, Ruthie, are you okay? Please go away. Ruthie, your mom says dinner's ready. All right, coming.
You okay? No. No, I feel terrible, Mom. Oh, you heard what they said. Look, Peter was an addict for 10 years. His own parents can get him to stop using. There's no way a 16-year-old girl could. They don't hold you responsible. You don't need to blame yourself. But I am responsible. I was the one that gave him the line that killed him. Look, those were his drugs. If you hadn't given them to him, he would have taken them himself. Then why do I still feel like this? Contrary to what I said earlier, you are a good person. Who since that night you have been living your life with care and compassion and respect for yourself and for others. I'm sorry I doubted you. Thank you. There's something else I have to do. Will you help me? Absolutely. Take me to see Dan. Thank God. Do you know what you've been putting me through? I'm sorry, Chuck. I'm not here because I changed my mind. Louie's downstairs waiting for me. What the hell's going on? I just wanted to tell you what a wonderful person you've become, and I hope this doesn't change that. Oh, don't leave me. I'm not doing this to hurt you. You sat in the car, and you said you'd never go. We were going to be together forever, and... Now you can't even look at me and you don't even care enough to tell me why? I just saw what was important. I did what I had to do. If it wasn't an affair with Humphreys in, it had to be something. It had to be something that changed your mind because love just doesn't disappear. We just can't be together, Chuck. I'm sorry. Just move on and be happy. I can't. Until I find out what happened, I'm going to use all my power to find out the truth. Some things are more powerful than even you. I'm sorry. Don't let this take all the goodness out of you. Even though we can't be together, I'll always love you. Do I have to set a place for Eli? Because I heard you forgot to invite him. Why do people forget to invite people to dinner parties? Is that a trick question? I need to break up with him. Oh, 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 please don't do that at my party. The last time I tried to break up with a man, he thought that I was asking him to wait for me. And he did, apparently. And he bought lattes for a man named Pierre. Is that slang for something I don't know about? You see, I try to preserve people's dignity, which is the problem. I'm poetic, and I would think that that would provide clarity, but in fact, it simply clouds the message. All right, here's what I would do. Use short, declarative sentences. I'm ending this. All the best to you. Got it? Oh, and do it before my party. No, no, not before. Tomorrow. Before is rude. Before is depriving a man of a dinner that he's now excited about because your husband couldn't shut up about the sauce. So I have to serve dinner to a dead man walking. Buck up. You can handle it. Oh, 